this week on the Hoover Boys. I thought I saw it. Maybe it was just the, part of the impression. Yay! Awesome. <laughs> I knew it sounded good. I'm losing my voice. Well, it's a random Monday, and uh, I took off work this week to do some metal detecting because we're kind of low on footage. Uh, everybody else is working. I hit up my buddy, Muck Boot Mark. He's off. So we decided to meet in a town, I guess, between where we live. He's like two hours away from me. So we both drove an hour and uh, been driving around for a couple hours. And we just landed a permission. Old farm, old farmhouse. I saw a gentleman outside in the house next to it, and he just happens to own the whole shebang of bang. He gave us permission, and uh, so far I've got a couple Wheaties. I've got a little green coin here. I'm hoping it's my first Indian of the year. I'm in a yard, so you know I'm going with that 5x8. Little green thing down here. It's got to be an Indian. Oh, yeah. First one of the year is going to be a beauty. 64, maybe? gonna be a pretty one yeah looks like 1864 uh, judging by the peak of the chin or well, the neck I do not believe it's gonna be the Eleanor ribbon variety but first ending of the year give her a little kissy hoping to find my first silver of the year silver coin of the year I do have a silver thimble so far all right on to the next it's shiny so after the uh, Indian head scent in the front yard, there was another 1864 Indian head scent right next to it. Other than that, just wheats, and I did get some token, but got a low 80 signal here, right on the side of the house, and looks like a dime. First silver coin of the year for me. Is it a one dime? It is a one dime. Barber or seated? Barber or seated? I don't know. It's probably going to be a Barbie, which I'm completely fine with. The juice is loose. Surprise me. Come on, it's a Barbie. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's finish cleaning up. Looks like 1892, a first year Barber dime. Why aren't you one year older? The good old one dime game. No mint Philadelphia. It is in 1892. Good sign. Very good sign. <laughs> Mark's like, there's got to be at least a couple of barbers in this yard. Sorry for my eye. I don't know if it's pink eye or if I got something in it last night, but it hurts. That's why it's red. First silver coin of the year for me is a Barbie dime. Anything? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Well, it definitely appears that nobody's ever beeped here before, so. This guy might own a thousand acres. It's, it's a big place. The Barbie dime turned into a spill. I knew it wasn't a total dime signal when I beeped over it. So there looks like there's a silver quarter on the ground. I don't know how I missed that. I must have fell out of the plug. I'm going to get another signal in the hole. Probably an Indian. This should be fun. So I went to swing back over the hole. Signal down there. And I swung over there and I'm like, oh. <laughs> hey, Dealey D. Is that a Barbie quarter? <laughs> I didn't even see it. Nice. <laughs> the oh, dime came out nice. right here. Who knows where the quarter came from? Yeah, it's a barber quarter. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you mind holding the camera for a minute? I don't know. I just want to fish around in the, the hole with the, the pinpointer. See what else we can find out of here. There's definitely another signal in here somewhere. It's deeper. And over this way. <sighs> Oh, this iron nail. So, I'm definitely going to check it some more. But that's why I'm using the little coil in the yard. Let's see what uh, date we have here. <laughs> this one's a 1904. This is definitely a later spill. Any mint? Oh, 
You got a phone call. I'm gonna finish cleaning this up. You take your phone call, buddy. All right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> when your first silver of the year turns into two, that's fun. <laughs> you see some bald eagles? It's always a good sign. I always feel like good things are upon us. 1904. This barber quarter is absolutely beautiful. It's got a very little wear on it. You can still see the E. pubis unum of many one. Yeah, Philadelphia, 1904. I kissed the last one. I guess I gotta kiss this one too. Even if Lady Liberty looks like a dude on the barber coins, if you ask me. Oh, I always thought it was a dude. It's Lady Liberty. We had a little bite to eat. We dipped into the field, and uh, Mark has something old. Yay! It's the beginning. Yay! A little button. Anything on it? I don't think so. And you just got some schmooze, but. I say 1812, but you know, that's always wishful thinking. Hey, definitely 1800s. Right. Hopefully, one of many. Hopefully. After Mark had his button, I got a button. And then uh, I just dug a flat piece of lead. Now, it could be anything, but it's usually what they'd call a poker chip back in the day. They'd make poker chips out of uh, musket balls. Sometimes they'd impress a coin into it, like a coin impression into it, or sometimes they put an X on it, but that was probably a poker chip. So hopefully we're gonna get on it here. A lot of land. I just dug three tent grommets in a row. Hello. That's gotta be a bag seal. Bag seal. Yeah, just cause it's on both sides. Yeah. I wonder what it said. Definitely old stuff though. I like this field. Yeah, it's more promising than the back. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> Finally found that old coin. I thought it was a button. I rubbed it up and uh there's definitely a bust on it. Looks like a farthing of some sort. It's uh pretty crusty on the reverse. Well it's pretty crusty on the obverse too, but right there is a little hair tie. So that'd be the back of the bust. My guess is going to be a King William farthing, which makes it like late 1600s, 1690s. So that is a, that is a good sign right there. It peaked right at a 69. That was a 69 signal. Definitely an old copper coin. A little farthing. Quarter of a penny. So my little coin came out of one of these holes here. Yeah. And Muck just gave me the symbol for... The ground and green. You gonna come down and pluck her? You may get her. You can get her. Yep. Oh, there's a hammer. I'm gonna let you wipe her off. You want me to wrap it? Yes, sir. Give if you honor. insist. That's the least you can do for being the camera guy. <laughs> <laughs> you might need a toothpick or something. It's starting to dry out. Yeah. I really hope we can get a D an ID on this because I think it's gonna be old like my last. Yeah, let's play with it a little bit and we'll come back. All right. Hopefully we'll figure out what that is. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Well, I have no doubt that uh, my farthing was a William because this is a William. This is the reverse. It's be the pertain to side. The date would be down here, but it's not going to come through. That is no doubt King William. Whew. Old, old coins. You can see the uh, hair tie there. Same as my coin. Boss facing to the right. That could have been a spill. Yeah, <laughs> Pretty cool to think about. Right on. 300 year old coppers. Oh, yeah. I, was, I was worried because like the house is like, it, the foundation on the house looks really old. The bricks of the chimney don't look that old. But, and the oldest thing we found over there was the 1864 Indians. But there was definitely a starter home or something back here because this is, this is right in our wheelhouse. <laughs> Colonial baby. Whew. This signal was down there. <laughs> Way down there. I'm thinking it's gonna be a dandy button, something big and round. Let's see. Is that a coin? Oh, what is on that? I think it's gonna be a button. Definitely too big and yeah, there's a shank. Okay, okay. Let me clean it up and see what's on this thing. 
that is one big button ended up giving it some juice because I saw the gold gilt coming through so it had some sort of floral design on there big old colonial dandy button how beautiful mm. I don't know. My dandy button came out right here. The coins are right there. I gotta. Eh, it's mixing the iron, but it's 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 in the 80s mostly. Could be a copper. Could be a silver. Could be a bazinga. See now you hear the iron in there. It's definitely mixed with iron, whatever it is. Oh, it's a big piece of iron. Is that what I'm... Yeah. <sighs> when I hit it just right, it just gave me that signal. I thought I was going to be a coin with iron instead of just a big hunk of iron, but got to dig it. I've dug so many pieces of broken shoe buckle frame today. This is just a deep high tone. Oh, sorry, I can still hear my pinpointer. Worked way down to it and popped out what looks like a complete shoe buckle frame. She was down there. That's what we have. Complete shoe buckle frame. Doesn't look like it's going to be a fancy one, but this is an early little sight here. Plenty of iron in here, and there's plenty of brick. Oh, there's brick right there. Red brick all over the place. If I get any no doubters, I'll live dig them, but that was just a deep, deep beep. Yeah, one of the nicer signals I've heard in a while. It's mid-high 70s. So, it could be anything. I'm hoping for a coin, but maybe a dandy. Maybe a piece of brass, too. But I like the way it sounds. Cleaned up a little bit. There it is. A little thought I saw it maybe it was just the, part of the impression yay awesome <laughs> <laughs> I knew it sounded good now I'm losing my voice oh that's gonna be crunchy it's right here in this drainage this little oblong Here's a hammered copper. It could be. Absolutely. The age of the stuff are fine in here. It looks like it. <laughs> 77. I was reading the whole time. Yeah. All right, I doubt I'm going to get an ID, but I'll try. <laughs> right on. <laughs> Ooh. Oh? Ah, uh, this coin right in the drainage ditch. It's all chunky and pitted and it's thin like paper so we're not going to get an ID on it but it's definitely a very old copper coin of some sort I will take it hopefully there's more <laughs> well mine just came from there here's the drainage ditch <laughs> oh yeah am I plucking for you? yes sir He's like, that thing sounded too good. Yeah, you can get her. <laughs> you want me to get her? Making me do everything, huh? Oh, yeah. I don't mind popping coppers. I didn't think you did. That one's nice and round. Yeah. That might have some details on there. You know, it looks like it had a rim like a KG1 or a newer uh, US. I doubt it's going to be US. KG1 would be more, a little closer to this period. I think we're going to have an ID. Hopefully it's something different and fun. Yeah. We're going to play with it a little more. Hopefully, we'll figure it out. Awesome. Right on. Trying to finish up strong. Yeah. Well, the sun's definitely setting. It's the back of Britannia there. I do believe it's a King George II, just by the top of the uh, the bust facing to the left. But it's got black schmutz on it. <laughs> schmutz. <laughs> I do believe it looks like it has fire damage or something. This could have been a burn down. Oh, yeah. That's why they moved the house. Right on. That's... uh. That's good stuff, though. And that wasn't deep at all. All right, back to it. You said schmutz. Schmutz. <laughs> you ready? She come up 24. 24? Well, 
should be about 80. You find more Spanish silver than anybody I know, so. <laughs> Over there, See that huh? Clumpy right there, whatever it is. Let me bring it up to you. Oh, nope, oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, I heard something in there. <laughs> Not Spanish. Is it a button? Oh, it looks like it could be a button. No, that's a gonna be a little farther of some sort. Here, nice. take it. Awesome. You take it this time. Right. On. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's knock some of this dirt off of it. See what we got. Oh. Have something on it. You're a little farther away now. I mean, yeah. there's a little gully we've been working. It's a weird spot for a home, but it's definitely something here. Well, I didn't think we were gonna get an idea on this coin, but I do believe we have one. Looks like Lady Liberty facing to the right there. So I guess it's straight bust half cent. So it's the first old US coin out of the field I do believe that's what it is it does look like it has a wreath on the back I guess it could be a KG3 but it beeps like a half cent we'll call it it's a half thin alright well <laughs> it's a half cent <laughs> it's getting dark if you haven't noticed oh, I got a decent signal here it looks like it's going to be another little farthing of some sort. I'm like, where's the silver, Marcos? They had quarter pennies. You think they had silver? <laughs> oh, well, it's a coin. It certainly sounded like a coin. Boop. <laughs> a little thinny. Yeah, it's definitely a coin. But variety, we'll probably never know. All right, coin. I'm not gonna let that that light permeate my eyeball. I'm not gonna let you guys look at my red eyeball anymore for the day. Uh, we had a fun little time at this property. I hope to come back here at some point in time. But uh, here's the trash. Not a ton of trash once we uh, found that little colonial homestead. Here's the board. Muck out on a bunch of little buttons over here. Looks like a saddle strap guide. Pocket knife, spoon, buggy brake, Ford Falcon key. I'm not sure on this little decorative piece, but it's pretty cool. Musket ball, some lead, bag seal, clad and Wheaties. It's got the Drape Bust Half Cent, the King William, and the KG2 Half Penny. I got a bunch of little doodads up here. Any any guesses on this? <laughs> Go for it. It looks like it's hollow. There's crack there, but that looks like a little seesaw. I got a couple pocket knives, some other little things that I haven't identified. Some clad. There's all my lead. There's the token thing I get out of the yard. Good for five cents when turned in. There's my buttons. One little fancy button, dandy button. There's all my little shoe buckle frame pieces. The complete shoe buckle frame. Some Wheaties, what I believe was a poker chip. It might be a piece of silver solder. Two Indians, two farthings, a wasted copper, and the uh, barber spill. Diamond a quarter. That was a fun little haul. I couldn't tell you the last time I had a silver spill. I don't know if I've ever had a Barbie spill. Until next week, help clean up the ground, dig it all, and take your trash with you. Why? Because all holes matter. Actually, I think we had three coin spills today. That was a spill. Those were a spell, and that, yeah, I like that. Lots and lots of field. Up in the first field where we dipped in, we did find a bunch of brick up there and a bunch of older trash. Since then, it's been nothing but can slaw and bottle tops but I have a coin signal here let's slide it together low 80s doesn't sound very deep I'd love to see a copper probably a memorial get her out come on be something old be something old wasn't very deep 
plaid. <laughs> hey, Karumba, memorial in the middle of nowhere. Pretty sure you could find a memorial on the moon. <sighs> Copper memorial. I got a decent signal here. It looks like it's gonna be another little farthing of some sort. I'm like, where's the silver, Marcus? They had quarter pennies. You think they had silver? <laughs>